So what we're going to do today is take the um, take a photograph and usually when you take photographs with a pure white background uh, or a white background it doesn't always appear pure white in the photo usually it's gray or maybe tinted with yellow or something along that line so in order to let's say uh, this picture is just from the latest blog post that I posted on yanjenghuang.com uh, and again that's uh, my website um, the background for this image is gray so I'm going to take this image into Photoshop and make this gray background pure white and I'll show you how so right click copy go back to Photoshop I'm going to go to file new and then I can go to edit paste and zoom in at 100%. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to select color range and I'm going to tap the gray. So I'm going to show you first what happens if you don't, um, if you only capture or uh, have the fuzziness set to low. If I do that and I press, let's say, delete uh, on the keyboard, I end up with all this, um, you know, funky stuff on the sides, which you obviously don't want. So I'm going to go back in the history. And for you to go back to, to history, uh, if you don't see this window, basically to go to Windows and the history, and that's how you will enable or disable that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go back to color range select this and I'm going to raise the fuzziness to um, let's say 40 and I can press delete the keyboard but notice that it's getting cleaner on here on, on the edging which is good um, but it also deletes part of this which is bad so this is the original image so you want to keep the detailing uh, over here and over here uh, because the color range here is very close proximity to the color range of the gray. So what we're going to do is go to do that one more time. I might even increase from 40 to 50, um, maybe 45. What I can do from here is, the, here's a, a nifty tool here uh, called edit in quick uh, mask mode. So by clicking that, what it does is it almost inverts the selection. So the area that is selected is basically the portion um, that is not in red. So the red is the part that is not selected. So as you can see over here, all of this sections are not selected. But we want, I mean, are selected, hence it's not red, it's it's white. So we want to make that uh, not selected. So when we delete, we don't delete all the detail from there. So what I'm going to do now is going to uh, take the uh, the brush tool. Uh, normally I use the keyboard shortcut. So now since I'm doing this, I should have to find it. Okay. So this is the brush tool, and you can just press B on the keyboard to enable this, and uh, I'm going to make this smaller and you can change the size of this by pressing the brackets uh, and that's to the right side of the uh, P on the keyboard so the bracket uh, basically if you play with it it makes it go bigger or smaller so now I have the um, the paintbrush open I'm going to then fill in all these sections here that are white and I'm going to make it smaller so I can really get in on that detail So the reason why we're doing this is because the color range, it takes not only white away,
but also I'm sorry not only takes gray away but variations of it so um, as we increase the fuzziness of it some of the skin and and all the texture gets kind of erased away which we, we you know don't want that to happen we want to keep all that um, detailed information um, so that's why I'm going through all of this and uh, and obviously I'm doing this relatively quickly so if there's a photograph that um, that you need to edit I would probably spend a little more time and really get in so you're not um, either fill in detail that shouldn't be filled in or delete detail that shouldn't be deleted. So for the purpose of, of this video, I mean, I'm kind of around the edge of the arm. I'm doing it really uh, quickly, so it might not be as good as otherwise I would like it to be. And also, if you do, uh, let's say, um, drop the brush somewhere that you don't want to, you can always change it to the eraser tool and, um, and erase away. So now if I click on the uh, quick mouse yeah, again to go back to the standard mode, if I zoom out, and you can zoom out by pressing Control uh, minus, or just do the percentage here. So I'm going to now uh, go back to this tool and then press Delete on the keyboard, and voila. So uh, the picture that we had before, let me paste it back, was this, and now we turn that into this with the pure white background. Let me just see if it's completely pure white. Yep, when I color sampled it, it's F, 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 F. <laughs> so uh, that means that it's it's pure white. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you have, make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and make sure you go to my blog, yanshanghuang.com. Um, you'll find a lot of um, uh, from entertaining news about business, uh, marketing, graphics, uh, to entertainment, music, to uh, video tutorials. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff on the website. Uh, to check it out and like me on um, on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and you know subscribe to my newsletter if you want to. Um, and thank you for taking the time to watching and uh, subscribing. Thank you.